Hey there, my fellow lunatics, and welcome to Dakin's Madhouse. Okay. Let's give this game a try. Forge of the Fae. Apparently it's got a Kickstarter going on right now. Uh, this is a free demo that's on Steam. Uh, let me know if the sound is too low for anyone. I can adjust. Or if it's too high, if you can't hear me over the game audio, let me know. If you ought to know that, I should probably actually read this out loud. Extract it. Ooh, look at all those spaces. Yikes. Extracting this directly would be impossible. If it could be linked in a circuit with others. Morning, Fiora. Fi, or Fi, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. I've had a nice sleep, a jog, and a full breakfast. And you're still exactly where I left you last night? Did you even get a wink of sleep? Oh, hey, Roy. Uh, yeah, I can see how this would remind you of Chained Echoes. I actually haven't played, played Chained Echoes. Blah, blah, blah. I have not played Chained Echoes. It's on my wish list, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. My first thought was it reminded me of Chrono Trigger, which is one of my all-time favorite games. So that was one thing that interested me about this. Hmm? Oh, I think I fell asleep for a few hours. This crystal, well... Fee, if you keep at this pace, you'll soon be as worn as an old penny. Aw, shucks. I've been industrious. Let's say that deeper. Industrious. And now it's the open air for you, girl. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm never gonna do that again, I'm sorry. I have not played Sea of Stars, no. I fell out of the um, JRPG scene um, and really have never gotten around to getting back into it, but I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Sunshine and fresh air. Oh, uh, how many people are in it? Yeah, I can tell you exactly how many people are in it. Give me one second. As of right now, there are 96 people in the PC side. By the way, what about, what about what? Ah, Rourke. Sorry, am I interrupting? <clears throat> ah, Mr. Rourke, not at all. You guys don't want me doing voices because if I really try, I could try to do voices. My problem is, is that when I do accents, they, um, they always end up either Scottish or Eastern European. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want a chance to get a free copy of a $20 game, all you need to do is spend $500 on a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox. And you'll be good. Your chances will be great. <laughs> What's funny is I bet if I tried to do an Eastern European, it would probably end up sounding... I, I don't know what it would sound like, but if I try to do Eastern European, it's going to sound like something completely weird. Um, yeah. So. It makes the people at my D&D &D table um, very amused. Uh, the villagers were slightly more welcoming after you put in a good word. Oh my God, she's Scottish. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, all right. <clears throat> oh, never mind the bad manners. 
It's only on account of you being from out of town. Those bumpkins are even afraid of the sea folk from Talison. Talison. About your son. Yeah, let's suddenly change subjects. You said you could help me find him. I think I can. However, I don't have the necessary supplies. In order to find your son, we'll need to retrieve a tier 3 crystal. What? What is a tier 3? How could a crystal possibly help change anything? The voice. Alright, uh, I guess I'll explain to him. Sure, why not? Let's do more exposition. Yeah! The crystals. How should I explain it? <clears throat> Tier 3 crystal is essentially a large and pure crystal. Utilized correctly, it can create a harmonic echo in the ether. Harmonic echo? Honestly, I don't fully grasp the phenomenon myself yet. Yet. But how does that help me find my son? Suffice to say, it's something you need to see for yourself. But I would be willing to show you. I just want my boy back. Fiora, can you be a bit... Sorry, Fiora can be a bit hard to understand. But she knows what she's doing. Look, if it will lead us to Owen, then I'll help. The best place to find a crystal is in the nearby abandoned mine shaft. Oh, charming. Let's spend our day with soggy uncles, huffing it to Glen Dewey. God, where can we find this Glen Dewey? If I have any Scottish viewers, I am losing them now, that's for sure. <laughs> The path into the glen is east of here, just through the forest. Ooh, all right. It's an RPG, so I have to assume heavy metal's my guilty pleasure. Yeah! Only father were here to see this. Is there such a thing as too many books? No, no, there is no such thing as too many books. No time to meander. A book of notes and observations. Halfway through the handwriting becomes noticeably different. Ooh, maybe it's because it was my dad's and now it's mine. One day I'll make coal obsolete. Nasty stuff. All right. You gotta look around. You gotta look behind everything. You gotta check. <coughs> Oh, see, see? Lily petal. This is why you check. Berries, excellent. Note to self, organize spare parts. Yes, please. Let's push buttons and see what's going on in this game. Skills from an RPG player, yes. Inventory. Yes, I've played quite a few RPGs in the day. Basic setup, all right. Save, yep. Oh, you gotta manually save. Sweet. I mean, not sweet, that's kind of old school, but it's fine, I'm used to it. Okay. Flash effects. Hey, does anyone have epilepsy problems? Because if you do, let me know. Uh, and I'll turn this back off. Okay. Controls. Great. OK, 
Okay, skills, steam punch. What's going on? That was weird. I'm like, what? That was weird. <laughs> okay, sorry, my controller just suddenly went crazy for a second there. And it's doing it again. I don't know what's going on. All right, well. Hopefully this won't impact my playthrough that much. If I have to, I'll turn it off and back on again. Sure, just a random chest. Cool, that's cool. It's an RPG, all right. We are not liable for injuries sustained when jumping over gaps or bodies of water. All right. Jump across no spin, so they gather your courage and walk toward the end. Great, yep, that's simple enough. You ever played the old SNES game, uh, Illusion of Gaia? That game was a lot of fun. What is this? Oh, combat. That makes sense. Okay, attack, skill, item retreat. Hey, Philia, welcome to the stream. We are uh, trying out Fate of the Fae right now. I should try out the skills. Let's see what skills we got. Sledgehammer, stone wall, shields. Oh, cool, sledgehammer, boom. Let's try it. Nice, ooh, what surge. I have no idea what I'm doing. Cool, I surged. I think I surged. Oh, did I surge? How was your Atlantean worm fight, Ophelia? Did you uh, did you kill him? Thank you. Okay, so that turns on Surge. Woo! Okay, what's that do? I guess I got a tempo up. That Maybe that means I'll attack more often. Skill Steam Punch. Woo, there we go, getting crazy. No, don't run away. Madness. Wow, this is fun. <laughs> I've got my own personal little challenge going on here. You know, it's a uh, controller craziness. Enzyme, that doesn't sound great. Ew. Surge. And then you... Dead. Skill. Stone wall. Stone wall yourself. Yeah, let's see if I can pull this off. Madness. Nope, I stonewalled my ally. Whatever. Level up, cool. Celia, level up. Shamrock, plus luck, all right. Good. 
Gotta check to see if there's a cave under the bridge. Lily petals. Okay, okay, I got some tea. Sip on the tea. What's this? Nothing, just pretty. The pixel art is awesome. Hopefully, um, hopefully this isn't stuttering too much. I have noticed that my uh, graphics will sometimes stutter a little when I'm moving around. It's not something I think I can fix midstream, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a demo. Surge. I don't, still not entirely sure what Surge does, but let's do it. Blade spin, heck yeah. And kill the green one. Oh my god, this is getting annoying. This is getting really annoying. Oh, up in the top you can see the order the... Can you see the order? Yeah, okay, okay. I see the order that the attacks are. That's cool. You can plan. Alright. Ah, uh, so I'm hitting him because he's next in the attack. Sweet, that blade spin hits multiple enemies. I like that. All right, let me see if I can turn off the Steam API. I don't mess around with Steam settings that much. Wow, my Steam input's actually disabled, apparently. I'm using the game's built-in support. Hmm. All right, well, I'll fix it later. Notice, we will not be held legally responsible for injuries during unauthorized climbing. Yeah, great. I get it. You guys aren't responsible for anything. Ah, oh, it's hoping. All right, I'm not ready to leave yet. Still more looking to do. Yeah, see? And I still got to figure out how to get up there. So let's look around some more. Ah, why did that happen? I didn't push up his buttons. Expect randomness. <laughs> There's the berry jam. More things. Oh my God, this feels so classic. This game really has the feel of like a good classic JRPG. I'm loving it. Clearly some work needs to be done on their controller support, but whatever. Get my mouse out of the way. Never gets old. Oh, 
Before we go, though, we should slot a couple of crystals in the Ark. Ark? It's one of... Oh, sorry. Got to have that Scottish accent again. Oh. It's one of Fai's new inventions. What was it again? Aether? Oriac? Etheric Resonance Codex. Sure, that one. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Regardless, the results have been very promising, and it should help us out here in the field. You just slot the right type of crystal into the device, and it should resonate with your body's frequency and create magic. But <laughs> magic energy sounds like a handy tool. All right, to equip crystals, open the menu, select the right character menu, blah, 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 and confirm. Select the crystal and you could, cool. That's basic. Not all the crystals link to one of your combat powers, enhancing that ability's power. Okay, great. Okay, so let's see here. Crystals. Okay, not what I meant to do. So that's, well, that, that is what I meant to do, apparently. That's all I had, huh? Okay, so I've got two crystal options. And that turns on one of them. And adds a flame punch. Okay. All right. Oh, I see. I can only do it for two people total. I see. And what do you got? Yeah, okay, hold on, let me turn it off for you, turn it on. And this adds Fisher and Hammerquake. This adds Gale and Cyclone. All right, so we've got Fire, Air, and Earth. All right, all right. Earth probably does the most damage, but I wanna mess around with Air and Fire because I bet those have cool status effects. And of course, as a standard RPG, we must save. Seems peaceful from afar. Ah! Oh! Surge time! All right, and let's try out some of these new powers. Uh, let's Cyclone. I'm gonna Cyclone in the middle though, and I'll see what it does. Okay. And I wanna see what Flame Punch does, so let's hit you with that. Nice. All right, well, he's weak, that's great. Surge! Happens when you get two surges. Level up. Aether Trap. Have a good night, sire. Got an extra crystal. Okay, 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 hold on. That's perfect. Got a third crystal, so now I can activate his. Oh, but he's got two. What? What's this one do? Oh, I can't activate it. Okay. All right. We'll figure that out later. Ooh, there's the, I bet that's where we're going. Please do not tamper with company issued ropes. These ropes are intended for company use only. At the bottom of the signpost, you see a second message in messy handwriting. You'll never catch me, the rope reeler. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, let's drop the rope.
You'll never catch me, Kappa. Nope, stop. Controller, stop being mean. Why are you doing this to me? Just gonna go with it. Let's see what Aether Trap is. Okay. Oh, that was cool. All right, she's getting her butt kicked. I need to get a heal on her. Which one heals the best? Let's see here. Well, since it's just gonna cycle, no matter what I do. Oh my God. Oh my God, did I just heal? Mm. What? What is happening? Okay, all right, I'm doing this with a mouse and keyboard so that I can actually get control of this. There we go. All right, I wanted to do Fisher. See what Fisher does. Oh wow, Fisher's cool. Yeah, let's see that mushroom dance again. <laughs> Let's, let's flame punch you. I mean, I'm clicking on him. <laughs> Ow. All right, and you're probably hurt already, so let's just do a normal attack. Yeah. Oh, wow, he's still up. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just hit you. There we go. So what do you guys think of this so far? Um, are you into JRPGs in general? Um, I know I am, but it doesn't mean that this isn't boring for everyone else. Spend a second doing a little healing here, and let's see. Let's do a stone wall because they all keep attacking her. So let's give her some defense. Now they'll stop attacking her. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> Jeez! Wow, those guys hit hard. Oh my freaking god. I can see why this game wants you to use a um a controller cuz it's mouse and keyboard is a little janky. 
but at the same time, with the controller problems I'm having, feeling that was a mistake and I'm going to get my main character killed. Or I just got really lucky. Mushroom dance, yeah. Mm. Mm. Mushroom dance. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yeah, I can see that, Roy. That is one nice thing about this game. You can just get sucked into it. Honestly, that was one thing I kind of wished Core Keeper had uh, added, and there are times that I definitely poked at the devs a bit. Like, this would be cool, you know, to have more of, like, um, actual quest and story stuff. Like, maybe the merchants in Core Keeper could actually... Um, give us, you know, tasks to do uh, and tell us a little bit about the lore and the history of uh, the world. Give us a little bit of, a little bit more active lore rather than the passive lore that the game currently does. I mean, passive lore is great too. There's a lot of really cool games out there that just give you a bunch of passive lore and they're amazing. But I also really enjoy when you've got some characters that actually give you story and exposition. Ooh, nerve strike. Tempered crank, neutral alloy confers elemental resistance. Interesting, I wonder if that's equipment. Ooh, the Shamrock is equipment, though. I'll take it. Wait, who is supposed to have high luck? Her luck is 15. His luck is 5. Her luck is 7. So she's got the high luck. Let's give her... Let's OP her luck even more. Oh yeah, there's some, I mean, Core Keeper is full of a lot of lore. I mean, if you really, really dive into it, the lore is rich in Core Keeper. And I actually, uh, I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't here. I just got all of my lore text approved by Julian, who wrote all of the, the lore for the game. So I am working on a lore video that it's going to take a little while for me to make because I've got to make a bunch of custom scenes. Uh, but yeah, everything that I have in my lore document is canon. So I've got it confirmed, which is nice. Uh, hey, Lever, how's it going, man? Thank you very much.
All right, they're an Aether company that calls on five from time to time. A Mechanica is a large company from the east. They've been laying large cables across the countryside. Some workers try to pocket their per diem money by camping out in the woods near the dig sites. Doesn't seem safe. It isn't. Better sense to stay in the village if you ask me. Stinks of cheap grog. Ugh. Okay, we got a way down there. Which we're gonna take in a second, I'm sure. Uh-oh, it's getting dark. Wow, that's really gaining speed, isn't it? All right, let's fight. <laughs> uh, here we go again with the crazy controller. All right, let's try out Nerve Strike. I'm not even using the controller anymore and it's going nuts. All right, let's just see what flame does. Flame on! Oh wow, that was cool. All right, so my debuff helped, that was good. So Nerf Strike does a debuff, which is great. <laughs> Thank you on the Scottish voices. My Scottish accent is terrible, but it is fun to do. I'm actually surprised that my Scottish accent hasn't turned Eastern European yet because that happens too. Or sometimes my Eastern European will turn Scottish. It's weird. Okay, what was I doing? I was running around. Lily petals, oh good, I need more of those. <laughs> I just need a bit more whiskey. Oh, that's such a stereotype. It's funny though. <laughs> oh, wrong way. So this game has a day-night cycle, so you can't just dick around like I'm doing. Uh, but... Because apparently when nighttime comes, the Fae come out. That's one of the few things I do know about the game. Adventures outfit. Ooh. Okay, my magic defense goes down, but everything else goes up. All right, let's try a different character and see what happens. Okay, two things go down, but everything else goes up. So I don't know if I want that. And you. I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, yeah, Lever, you could consider it Russian or um, Ukrainian, uh, Lithuanian, um, not Lithuania, that's not Eastern European. What am I? I got my education in America.
Oh, oh, my my British. My problem is my British. I can own the, my best British. I can do is more Cockney, and it very quickly turns um turns Scottish. <laughs> like sure, or or it turns New Jersey esque, kind of like Brooklyn, which is really bad too. You know that uh that old nineteen twenties kind of like sure, sweetie. But yeah. Oh, I should have heal. Oh, well, that works too. Celia needs a heal. I really need to start remembering that I can heal outside of combat. So that when I get into a fight, I'm in much better shape. Chris Tucker. Oh, God. Oh, I love Chris Tucker so much. Well, thank you. I enjoyed my voice. When it's not getting all scratchy. Sometimes it gets a little scratchy. Oh, this is going to be the death of me. save again whoa come on be nice oh, this thing's just being such a pain oh my god just whatever <sighs> oh, Aurora come here one of my cats wants up give me one second not core keeper anymore it was core keeper earlier my friend now it's not this is aurora she's my the one cat that loves to hang out and on my chest and she'll just stay here forever so my sweetie yeah i have three cats so oh you're not gonna okay Crystals. How do I get over here? Yeah, she's a sweetie. She she loves to lay on my chest, and that's always nice. Uh, this game is called, I believe, what is it, what's it called again? Fate of the Fae? Forge of the Fae. Forge of the Fae. This is a demo. It's a pretty detailed demo. Carnax, where it gains an extra basic attack. Ooh, that's cool. I just go in a circle. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh. 
Oh, there's a dude fishing. Oh God, don't tell me this game has a fishing mini game. Oh, the puppy. Hi, puppy. Hello. Fine weather we're having. Yeah. Oh, thank God I don't have to fish. Please tell me there's not a fishing mini game in this. I do like that extra attack. That's really cool. Agreed. RPGs have really good music. I really like the music in Core Keeper too. They got a lot of really good music. Not sure how to get there yet, but we'll figure it out. Elixir, oh nice. Wait, no, okay, you can't just go up there. Yeah, I really need the new music also, because I've got like all the original early access OST stuff, but I don't have any of the new stuff yet. Did I just go backwards? I think I did, yeah. Ooh, the cave. This is it. Charming. We'll find the crystal we need in here. Yes. My sister, I mean, our friend Mac has found several quality specimens here. Yep. All the crystals are powered by my kitchen mixers. May they rest in peace. And her mechanical fairy. It's an amazing machine, by the way. Thank you. I've also been working on an aether scope, a device to detect unusual activity in the ether. 
Don't forget why we're out here, Fi. You're right. We can talk about it later. For now, we should push forward. Don't want to risk being out after dark. Why? What happens after dark? Around here, the real fae come out after dark. And not the fair folk you hear about in the stories. The creepy ones. Oh. Oh, sorry, I gotta mess with my camera a bit. And yeah, whatever. They eat babies. I mean, there's a fairy ring right here, guys. I mean, like, right here. <laughs> Curious. There's a freshly lit incense burning from this vessel. Well, that's not ominous. Ooh, who we got here? Oh, my God. You're creepy looking. Researcher. What are you doing here? No, right, hold on. Hold on. No, it's not fair. I can't. I mean, I, I am an American and, and we are kind of mad at Russia right now. So I don't know if I should do a Russian accent for the villain or if that's just racial stereotyping. But anyway, what are you doing here? You should be asking you the same thing. I am here as an authorized surveyor. Which mining company are you with? Even if I could disclose that information, I certainly wouldn't share it with some hobbyist mineral purveyor. Interesting. I don't know you, but apparently you know me well enough to dislike me. Clearly he doesn't know you well enough if he thinks you're a hobbyist. And who are you? The local baker? Ah, <laughs> uh, an X baker didn't you burn your bakery down now I suppose you're just an unemployed simpleton why are you slimy git I oughta see oh yeah calm down he's just trying to antagonize you hi you you ready to join the party now sorry kitty time come here come on Join the party. Oh my god, that hurts. Hi. Say hi, internet. Alright. You wanna hang out with me now? Cats. I bet you the moment that I get yeah, she's getting down. <sighs> <sighs> Sweet babies. Yes, best to listen to your handlers. Oh my god, what a douche. I want to kick this guy's butt. As enthralling as this conversation is, I really must be going. <laughs> and if you know what's good for you, you'll be leaving too. What's that supposed to mean? People who dig around in abandoned mines tend to get hurt. Is that a threat? <laughs> I'll not waste my time on petty squabbles. Mark my words, if you keep digging, you may find yourself buried. My nose will not stop it. Her, her, that cat, I love her to death, but her fur is so fine and it is blonde. And it gets in my nose. Digging. Of course he'd know all about digging. Bloody worm. Who was that? Seems like trouble. <laughs> Just awful. No nothing git. No. Rourke's right. We should be careful. Seems like we're not the only ones interested in crystals.
I see the eyes staring out of there. It's like a little caveling hiding. <laughs> Got a little caveling hiding in the middle of the screen. Caveling hunter. Okay, I got a potion. I really need to remember that I can do stuff outside of combat. I'm sorry Core Keeper's giving you optimization issues, uh, Ophelia. I've not had those problems with it. They've done a lot better at optimizing since they started. But they also do a lot more now. Like, for example, um, ray tracing is native in Core Keeper. Um, whether, you, whether your video card supports ray tracing or not. Uh, oh, wow, they do not take fire. Okay, they're fire guys. That's why they don't take fire damage. Okay. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> you know, take candle. Like World of Warcraft kobolds. Yeah, if you're ever curious about some of the behind the scenes stuff. Oh, they're weak to earth. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, if you ever want to see some of the behind the scenes stuff about how the game's put together, I have an interview with the um, um, developers where we talk about a lot of what's actually going on behind the scenes in Core Keeper. Is the game is actually much more advanced than it looks like. All right, do not disturb the local wildlife. The Suscroffa family has been identified as dangerous. Okay. Miner's hat, earth resist, 50%. Well, I'm taking fire damage right now, but... Let's add a miner's hat, why not? Yeah, I did the interview shortly before 1.0 came out, and I tried so hard to get them to spill secrets. And I could not get them to do it. I mean, they, they spilled a little bit of secrets, but they, they did not spill all of them. You know where you accidentally go the right way? <laughs> uh, is this like 
I don't want to go through doors. That's my problem. You never know when you can go back when you go through a door. That didn't do anything. Okay, fire doesn't do anything to them either. Wow. I did not want to hit the bat, but hey, that works. Oh my gosh, I am not trying to shoot the bat. <laughs> He's trying to hit the mushroom. Just gonna fight this thing dead, yeah. Okay, that's too big a jump, apparently. All right, so I want to see, let's see here. Where did I, I started here. Let's see what's in here. Combat. Okay, so I gotta figure out what these guys are all weak to. So are these guys weak to air? Yeah, they are. Okay. Oh, what happened to me? I got a status debuff. All right. Adequate kinetic force, this boulder should fall and create a path below. Okay, let's put that theory to the test. <laughs> Boom, awesome. Creating the passage. Can I jump down there? No, okay. Well, that, 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 that makes sense. Sunrise increases crit. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I think you're, no, you've got something. I think you might be the only one. No, you've got something. You've all got something. Oh, wait a minute, hey. Stronger attack, lower defense, interesting. All right, I'll take it. Okay, she's has a stronger. All right, all right, that's cool. Nothing better here, all right. Time to save the game again. Woo. 
Woohoo! All right, what are we getting? The Trask figurine? <laughs> My cat's playing with something. Oh, the Tarrasque, that is funny. Sorry about all the noise. Okay, all right, hold on. I'm gonna give you the Tarrasque. Uh, well, maybe not. Uh, I wanna give, because I do like your magic power. It's very useful right now against those miners. Hmm. Oh, her magic is already crap. Look at that. Look at how crap that magic is. All right. You're getting you're getting the Tras figurine cuz you're you're already junk with magic. That's perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I wanna see what's the other way. Okay, yeah, here we go, okay. Nice. Fine, I'll take it. I didn't want to hit a mushroom, but I'll take the mushroom. I thought I did Fisher, but that works. Say, don't tell me there's nothing here. There's stuff here. An adventures outfit, cool. You drop. Okay. Okay. All right. This 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 controller problem is getting so freaking old, guys.
what to say. Okay. Surveillance crew pending approval. Surveillance crew pending approval. Please proceed with caution beyond the Western Bridge. Okay. Let's look around a little bit. Right, that's the Western Bridge. We have to proceed with caution. So let's just go here first. Thought I saw something a little bit to the east, so oh, of course. No, you haven't messed up my chat at all, man. That's actually very helpful. I'm glad you guys were able to sort that out. Yeah, I'm glad I came this way. Gold Torque, hit points plus 80. That's cool. Another miner's hat, all right. Present time, okay, and that's how you get down here. Okay. What's this? Oh, nice, it's like a safe point. Oh my god, that ripped through them! Woo! Alright, mental note, cyclone on the bats. <laughs> okay, so there's the western bridge. Alright, alright, cool. Alright, so you go that way. Alright, I think I've gone everywhere here, let's go. Yeah, I'm glad you came to the chat too, Ophelia. Get your computer all fixed up, get Core Keeper playing better. Alright, this is me where Mac was getting the crystals. Why are these crystals special? We must have walked past a thousand others. Crystals are common around here, but fewer than one in a hundred can produce stable energy from the ether. That one though. Produce energy from nothing? That's not possible. Well, it's, it would be a revolution, a miracle. Have you never heard, sir, of zero point energy? pulling energy out of the quantum wave function itself. Totally doable. Actually, no, it's not, there's no way that can happen. At least no way with our current technologies. Oh, good. Now both, now two of my cats are upstairs and they're fighting. Lovely. All right, did you feel that? It's not a miracle. We just don't fully understand it. As for revolution, I'm not so sure. There aren't many crystals that meet the standard of purity. There won't be enough for mass production unless we can find a way to synthesize them. Okay. I kind of be the only one feeling that. I just need to harvest this one without damaging it. Yeah, just keep wiggling it, Fiona. And then you can use it to find the other one. It looks like I can get a fairly clean break from the deposit. There we are. Boss fight. I sense a boss fight. And I didn't heal. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. Oh, I did. 
I did. I got that HPSP restore thing. Fi, I think we should probably. Oh yeah, here we go. Giant boar. Yes, boss fight. Feral shriek. Oh, ow. Oh my God. Oh, I can't use my status effects. Okay, hold on. Do I have anything that restores my stat or removes status effects? Removes all negative status effects. Awesome. All right. Oh no, no, no. I'm going to hold off on my surge. I'm I'm Okay. I'm learning that apparently you can the adrenaline uh, gets your surge up higher, which may make it stronger. So, all right, let's start with a little defense. Uh, I'm going to put a stone wall on her. And then he hits me. I considered doing it to myself. <laughs> all right, she just attacks. She's not a magic person anymore. You are a magic person. Oh, but I should do a nerve strike. Ooh, a nerve strike would be good. All right, and then let's do another stone wall. Oh, that's right. She's got the status effect on her. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Acacia root. Remove. Ether trap. Cool. Give some status debuffs on him. Ow! Quit it. And Stonewall, the last person who needs it. Wait, wait, wait. That was me. I need to put it on my cell. God, I'm such an idiot. All right, Nerf Strike. Sweet. I wonder if I can only have Stonewall up on one person at a time. That'd be interesting. All right, let's see what this does. Oh my God. Invincibility, that, wow, whoa. Oh, that was cool. All right, I'm gonna charge up all these attacks and see what they do. Let's do a steam punch. Ha! Yeah, I'm invincible now, man. I'm out, so let's just attack. This boss music is awesome. Come on, guys, get to level three of journal, and I want to see what you got. Here we go. Let's see what a level three surge does. Eureka! Oh my God, look at the attacks are free. She's now got her level three surge. Let's see what it is.
Okay, that was just some major buffs, I guess. Uh, let's Cyclone and see what it does. Oh, damn! Woo, okay, wow. I wish I could Cyclone again. That was amazing. All right, I'm just gonna do a straight up attack and see what happens. 106, nice. Rampage. Oh, ow, Ooh, oh, man, I'm glad I healed her. Uh, let's do another heal. I'm one short. Oh. Oh, I didn't need it though. Whoa. Nice. Level up, level up. Oh, poor boar. Is it dead? Well, it's breathing. It's not dead. I think it's just stunned. We have what we need. We should leave. These markings are just like the ones on the walls. Interesting. Yes, let's drop the rope. Back of the beginning. I know I missed a couple of things, but that's okay. I'm not necessarily trying to 100% this. Uh oh, it's nighttime. Oh no. Something wrong? We faffed about a bit too long. Now we're really in for it. If you wanted to see what West Country magic looks like, you're in luck. The phase power, she means. But yes. <clears throat> but yes, the way home will be difficult now. Oh boy, here we go. All right, let's see here. I got full heals when I left that, so let's do a save. All right. Lily Petal. More berries. Ooh, fairies! Uh oh, ow! Oh my god, ow! Oh my god, this this is just this is killing me. I'm really trying to hit Cyclone. There we go. That didn't do shit. Oh boy. All right, the kobold's taken care of. Oh, oh. Ow, ow. All right, well, that worked. I keep forgetting she's not a magic person. She's melee, or not melee, she's all about that attack. I don't remember the way back. How do I get that? I really want that. How do I get it? Oh, 
Oh, here it is. It's hidden. Ha! Found it. Another adventurer's outfit. See, you're the only one without an adventurer's outfit. The real cyclone was the friends we made along the way. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Uh, I wish I remembered how to get back. This is going to be fun. Ow. Quit it. Cyclone's effective. Thanks for coming, Roy. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Okay, well, we found the campfire, so we're on our way. We're heading the right way. I don't think that's the right way. I'll go this way. Ooh, look at that. It's a little rat thing. All right, Cyclone the rat thing to death. That was less effective than I wanted it to be. This, you know what I think I like the most about this turn-based design is it reminds me so much of like Final Fantasy VII, um, um, and, uh, Secret of Mana, um, Chrono Trigger, just those really old school, uh, even Final Fantasy VI, just those really, really old school, uh, RPGs. Those are my favorites. Of course they get to attack first. Oh no, Ghost Needle, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, that was close. Oh no, oh no. Oh god. That's Ghost Needle's heart. Oh god, she's going down. Ah. Uh... Oh, I missed? No, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Oh no. And this is so much harder with a controller that does not work properly. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so first you ghost needle me and then you just attack again. That's super. Oh, 
Oh! Don't go sneak. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. Stop. Stop. Oh, my. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm turning the controller off. Hold on. I'm just going to mouse and keyboard. Hey, Sean, thanks for the membership. Really? She has to, oh my gosh, she gets to double attack me twice for every one attack I get. Oh, that's rough. All right, I have got, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. You gonna eventually attack? Oh. Okay. Oh good, I'm at least at one hit point now. Fairies. That was easier. <laughs> And we're home. Oh, who are you guys? Oh, <laughs> who the blazes are you? T concerned citizens. Yeah, sure you are. This is my house. We know. And what are you doing here? A certain well-connected man asks that you stop toying with crystals. And we told him no, in so many words. You ought to know. We get paid extra for having to do this the hard way. Oh, I'll see you to you and your pays today, boyo. All right, here we go. Yeah, these guys are weak. You are nothing, you hear me? You guys are nothing. Oh, wow. These guys really aren't that hard at all. Come on, buddy. See what you can do. Ooh, a net. I'm scared. Sorry guys, if you're getting a lot of uh, feedback or any kind of weird noises right now. Uh... Cat. <laughs> On the microphone. So. That's right. Tell your boss we'll do worse next time. You think that man sent them? Probably. Here's we're not the only one who work with crystals. Who else is there? Clearly someone very, um, theatrical. 
Maybe we'll be able to see him through the orthoscope. Orthoscope. Ah, that device. How can you see someone? Well, come inside. It's easier if I just show you how it works. All right. This tuning fork has a slight bend. No matter. Now, it's simply a matter of finding the correct tone. All right. Crystal Resonance, a secret song by Bled and App Hughes. Aurora. <laughs> I love you. What are you doing? Sweet girl. I just need to tighten this valve a little. Perfect. Done. The, th the ether scope is fully primed. Hmm. Crystal seems to have some severe artifacting. No matter. Let's just be able to bypass it or at least redirect it. Enough duck. Fire it up. Is, is it supposed to be doing that? Some minor visual phenomena is to be expected. Artifacting phenomena, you name it, we got it. This game is called um, Forge of the Fae. It's a demo. This game currently has got a Kickstarter going on uh, for the full version. Although I must say, this particular level of luminance is uncharacteristic. Perhaps if I adjust the frequency here... Wait, that's not quite... What in the world? Oh, ooh. It's Yue. Did we just bring Princess Yue back to life? Oh my god. Ah, oh, and that's it. That concludes the demo. That was great. That was really cool. So yeah, if you want to support them on Kickstarter, uh, let me open that up here. And give me one second. This is the uh, the Kickstarter, Forge of the Fae. They've only got five days left to go. Sorry, cat just clawed my leg. Uh, they've only got five days left on their Kickstarter. Uh, and I believe it is, yeah, 25 bucks to back it and get a digital copy of the game. And that also comes with a digital art book and some exclusive wallpapers and looks like some other stuff. So, yeah. And that is, let's just go back to this. Return to the title. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my stream tonight. I'm actually going to go ahead and call it a night here. Uh, this was a lot of fun. We um, tried out this Forge of the Fae. Uh, Ophelia, thank you for the membership. I love it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being here for this birthday stream. Uh, congratulations again to all of our winners for the first round of... Um, mad for ck uh drawings we will be doing two more drawings so if you still want a chance to win you can still enter by just leaving a comment mad for ck on any one of my videos be sure to also do a hashtag with uh what console you're playing on whether it's pc xbox series s or x or um playstation 5 those are the keys that i have i do not have last gen keys unfortunately um, so 
Again, just go ahead and leave a comment anytime. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. If you're just getting here and you missed the stream, because I noticed my concurrent viewership number just went up a little bit, uh, be sure to check out the VOD. It's going to be saved immediately. Uh, it might take it a few minutes to process, but you can uh, catch everything you missed. Uh, again, thank you so much for coming tonight. Everyone stay happy, stay healthy, but above all, stay crazy, my friends. <laughs>